Good morning. Uh, my name is William Solomon, and I'm here to read the tribute of Michael Muteti Mutuku. It's my cousin, and I will read the tribute of the family. But before I read the tribute, please allow me to say a few words before I read the tribute. Uh, I'm a student uh, of theology. I started at Good News Theology School, and uh, I've discovered that human's heart are so weak, and only one thing that gives strength and hope in the hearts of human, it is the word of God. So please allow me to read some scripture before I read the tribute. I will read in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 53 to 57. For this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. So when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? The sting of death is sin. And the strength of sin is in the law. But thanks be to God, which giveth, giveth us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. So, the sting of death is sin. And the power of sin is in the law. So, I discover that we cannot overcome sin by ourselves, but only through the word of God. If we cannot believe the fact that Jesus has redeemed us internally through the redemption that is in the Jesus, we cannot become free from sin. And that's why the pain we feel in our hearts and the burden that we feel in our heart it is because of sin. And thus, if we can only believe that Jesus has redeemed us and forgave all our sins internally, then we can have perfect peace inside our heart and have a total rest inside our heart. So I want to encourage every one of us through these words of God. I will read the tribute to Michael Muteti Mutuku. Gone too soon. A part of us was snatched on that fateful day. A part of us vanished suddenly when the death took you away. You meant everything to us. You are everything a son could be. You are precious and so wonderful. You are one in a million. Your future looked promising and a good but death couldn't spare you. Death has cut you off in your prime. A loss so hard to bear, nothing can compare to the pain of losing you, but all the love you left behind forever will live on, and so until we meet again. We already miss you, and think of all the time how we wish we could have you back here. Death took you away from us, but never away from our hearts. Will we treasure your memories forever? Rest in perfect peace, our dear son. We love you. Thank you so much. Our God is good, and all the time, um, one year ago, one month, probably a few hours, I stood before a congregation like this one at Peace, I mean at uh, Ridgeway's Baptist Church, Kiambu Road, 
To mourn the passing of my daughter, Michelle, through a tragic road accident on Kiamburo, 